Hi folks, hope you can see this. I haven't done a video for a while um, just because I got well into the Shelley Art Bloom technique and I really struggled to get um, equivalent um, products to use. Um, I've landed up with um, Valspar. Um, where is it? If you can see this, Valspar Brilliant White interior silk as my pillow paint for my boom gels and with home uh b and q um this one b and q good home um white brilliant white um to use with tlps um i'm going to do a little experiment it's all about experiments isn't it with uh, acrylic pouring um we do one with um, the Boom Gels and the Valspar and one with my TLPs and the home, uh, the B&Q and see which comes out best. Um, the reason I don't think TLPs work with Valspar is because every time I've tried to do it, the um, it crazes, you know, it goes, um, it doesn't crack, it just, the colours go sort of split if you like. Um, if it was eggs, I guess you'd say they curdle, but something like that. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm going to try and do today. So just bear with. I'm going to be using um, pea flower orange, uh, pearlescent yellow, flame tree red, pearlescent red, a bit of gold, and some black cellar activator, which is uh, titanium, um, titanium, um, Amsterdam lamp black and Aussie flow troll. So here we go. This is oh dear, it's gone a bit gunky. Let's give it a swirl around. The good thing with the valve spar is you don't get any hardly any air bubbles. I think it's amazing. Um, the problem I found with the uh, B and Q paint was that it's, the air bubbles were killing it for me, <laughs> um, literally. But anyway, here's uh, the oh, still a bit. Give me a bit more. So I'm not stirring it, I'm just giving it a swirl just in case, but you can see no air bubbles. Pretty brilliant, you know my book at the moment that is. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a bit on there. I'm never quite sure the quantity is hit and miss. I'm not a measurer or anything like that. Um, oh, I'm going to open this one, never mind, I'll open this. Um, Hum amongst yourselves for a minute. Oh gosh, come on. <laughs> it's always one that catches me out. I made sure all the others were open already. And oh, but it, I think just about. It's even worse when you've got these silly gloves on. I do tend to work a lot without gloves just because you just, you just can keep washing them off. <laughs> Off, you know, off your hands, whereas with your gloves it's a bit of a palaver. Anyway, a bit of a shake. And this is the flame tree red. I'm not going to put too much down. I think I've been using too much. What I love about these is they are straight from the pot. And this is the pea flower orange. I don't know what this colour combination is going to turn out like, but it's all up for grabs, if you like. A bit of yellow. Pearlescent yellow, nice little blob of that, and a little bit of pearlescent, oh no, which one have we done? This is pearlescent red, pearlescent red. And then a little bit of black, she says. It's a bit gunked up, let's get a stick, little uh, what do you call them? Cocktail stick to peel it out. Where it's gone a bit gunky. Um, I'm, I have actually enrolled to do the Shelley Art um, course. I've been resisting and resisting, but actually, I think it's going to be worth its weight in gold. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. Um, just, you know, um, I think I need a bit of help. Oh dear, what have I done with this? Did I forget to put the pin back in it? 
Oh, I'm so unprepared. There we go. Hopefully that's all right. Bit of cell activator, hopefully. Never know how much of this to put on. Is it just me or is it all of us? Now I'm going to blow it. So my mum, oh, just, just ignore my head. Think of that. It's blodgy. I just want to a little blow down in that middle. There we go. So at the moment I see pretty cells. Quite liking that. Um, Seem to have lost my yellow, but never mind. Let's go and give a little swirl around, see what happens. Hmm. Quite liking the look of that. Let's go and see the little tip this way. So, I'll give it a swirl the other way. To want to keep my paint and I think one of the sequences that you've just got to get enough paint off I did do some really pretty t tiles and I was gonna put them as coasters but I used the wrong sort of resin on them and they cracked I've never seen paint crack before but it was slightly unnerving when I looked in the morning to see they felt gorgeous but when I looked closely they had cracks in them That is quite pretty, I think. What do you think, folks? Not bad? Is it a goer? A keeper? Time will tell. As I found out, it's all in the drying. Oh, where's those two corners that I haven't covered? But have now. So I have a quick little go with one of my little teeny weeny spatula things. I love these little things. They make me happy. So a little bit of that there. And then I'll put a little bit of this orange here. And the rest of it's good to go. Okay, I'm going to put that on a little uh, just a cup upside down to dry off. I'll scrape underneath the edges as, um, as we go along to um, try and make sure there's no drips. Oh my goodness, it could all be lost at the last minute when, <laughs> when you drop it or something. Right, let's have a scrape off here. Okay, I'm just going to have a little pause here while I um, sort my other paints. Just bear with. Hi, I'm back again. Um, right, so new tile. Here is my B and Q. Um, in actual fact, it's been standing quite a long time. And look, no air bubbles. If you can see that, you see no air bubbles. That's a dream come true. It's probably been standing about two weeks, and I've some people have said that on um, YouTube. Oh, look, I can see some air bubbles now that you have to leave it for about two weeks. But I'm an impatient sort of a person. I just want to get on with things. So I'm going for gold today. Let's see what happens. Because I found that what happened when I used it before, even if I popped all the bubbles that I could see, when it dried, even more came up. Even though I was running up and down stairs. Can you see them? As they, they're trying to come up, which I find really annoying. The other thing you can do is knock it against something hard like that and they do burst. Now from what, can you see the, I hope you can see that, can you see those air bubbles coming up? I didn't get any at all with the bow spar. Now knocking the tile does work but you do run the risk of, you see them coming up? Bonkers, where do they come from? Maybe um, when I've done the Shelley Art course I'll know better because 
you know, when you watch all these YouTubers from Australia and America, they don't seem to have the same problem. Or do they? Who knows? Right. I can see them coming underneath the surface. And the trouble is, when it dries, if, you, if, if they come up, you get these little, um, you get these little, uh, little, like little dips in the paint where the um, air bubbles popped eventually. Right, I have got here, this is TLP asparagus. I've only got a little bit left here, this one, so never mind, just a little tiny bit here. Oh, it's really thick. I'm just going to add a little bit of my um, blah, 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 my mixing um, pouring medium for TLPs. I use the Valspar V700 and Joe Sonia. Um, uh, what's it called? Varnish, and I think it's a ratio of uh, four to four to one, something like that. Off the top of my head, that is though. So who knows? Right, so give it a little mix, you can see. It's a bit gungy, isn't it? But it will mix. She says. Mixing frantically. <laughs> Alright, guys. We'll get in there. This will be finished with after today. I'll start again. I'm going to do the thing as well where you leave the stick in the pot. You see, it's gradually coming together again. I think I might have some lumps in there. Let's try a little bit more. You leave the stick in the pot, and uh, then it, when it dries with the lid off, it should all um, come away with the stick. I did sort of try it on another pot, and it did sort of work. There we go. You see that? That's much better. It's just where it's evaporated. So. Just, I've just introduced some gorgeous air bubbles as well. Can't you see them? Look at that. Never mind. We'll come out in the wash. So let's go with a little bit of this first. I love this colour. So, one. Then we'll go with a little bit of. Uh, this is ball gown TLP. Let's give it a stir. You see a lovely shimmer. Look at that. I mean, what can you say? Beautiful. Beautiful. So one thing with the TLPs, the colours are just completely out there. I won't not put too much on. It's only a tile, isn't it? Okay. Excuse the mumbling. Talking to myself. And this one is tail feather. By TLP. It's a lovely colour, isn't it? Look at that. Look at it. What can you say? Pop that. Can you see the air bubbles coming up? I think these are all a bit done to death, these ones. And I'm going to top it all with a little bit of Harvest Gold, which is oops, a lovely rich orange gold. I think it's a bit like the um, 24 karat gold that they talk about. I think it's golden, is it, that does that? Um, but look at that. What can you say? Stunning colour. Right. Um, to where's my cell activator got it i don't have a lot of space to do my art so i'm always sort of like in a muddle and losing things when they're right there but just concealed right going for gold again just bear with We've ended up with a lot of white. There we 
never mind it's doing its thing as you can see filling up the space I just love I'd love the green a bit more in that okay let's go for a little spin when you get that dip in the middle um, from blowing you get a bit of a dip sometimes in the middle um, I find that spinning actually brings it all back up so we can spin this one. Hmm. Just trying to make it move a little bit. I think I should have put probably a bit more pillow paint on. But I mean, I still like it. It's sort of got a smoky look about it, hasn't it? I like that a lot actually. I like sort of greens and golds. Let's give it a I'm not very good at oops, left handed spin. <laughs> I'm so cack handed. I'm really, really right handed and find anything with my left a bit tricky. Yeah. Never goes quite as fast. <laughs> Oh dear, never mind. Well, I do like it. In fact, the more I spin it, the more I like it. What do you think, folks? Comments, please, on a postcard. And it's, it's this is, um my, my spinner is um, a cake, um, a stainless steel cake spinner. Um, but it's great because it runs really smoothly. I find some of the plastic ones are just just don't do it. I'm going to leave that like that because I actually really like it, and it's all about you liking it. Other people may not like it. I like it. I love the lacing. Can you see that? And I love the cells. They're what pe some people call um, peacock cells, where you've got um, like you've got a gold outline, then you've got blue, and then you've got a little bit of white popping through. Um, and they just seem to happen naturally. And in fact, I'm really pleased with the way, I mean, some of the cells are just beautiful. And then you've got all this lacing around the outside. Um, okay, so you've got this negative space, but I think when the thing is resin, I think it'll actually really look look good. Um, and it's all about what you like. Um, okay, folks, that's me done. I'm gonna try next time, when I speak to you, to do a modified bloom, which is another thing I'm, learning um great inspiration from people like um milky way art designs and um who else does it a uh, claire somebody called claire oh, i can't remember off the top of my head but i love the way they can you can make such beautiful flowers and shapes and um just appeals to me hey ho but anyway um that's me for now um and i will speak to you soon bye